Survival, if I try and break any of the hardened blocks with my hand, as you can see there, it takes a very, very long time to do. If I was to break an ordinary glass block, it takes a couple of seconds. Welcome back to Science Class, everyone. My name is Professor Echo. Sit quietly at your desk because it's time for me to teach you how to make hardened stained glass. As you can see, this is hardened orange stained glass. This works for all glass blocks and also glass panes as well. I also wanna teach you about the antidotes as well. These are antidotes curing specific potion effects. But as you guys can see, if I place this down, I'm gonna forward slash game mode S. Try and break this with my hand. You can definitely tell this is a hardened block. Now, this could potentially be my last video for the science update. Unless we pass 1,000 likes, because if we pass 1,000 likes, we will cause a little bit of trouble. Basically, I'll show you guys what happens when science goes wrong. And as you can see, you actually get to pick up the block again. It doesn't fully break. So the first thing I want to show you is that this is not an add-on. I keep getting comments saying this is just an add-on. It's not an add-on. They officially introduced this for Android, Windows 10, and Xbox in the latest beta, which is beta 1.2.20.1. Should be coming to iOS very, very soon as well. So we gotta create new, we gotta create new world. We have to set this to creative. We scroll down, they introduce this, which is for the experimental gameplay, which enables the update aquatic features. Going down, we have the education edition. So enabling this will give you the education edition features, which is exactly what I'm gonna be showing you in today's video. So if you missed my previous videos, go and check them out because in my previous videos, I've showed you how to make underwater TNT. I've showed you how to make balloons. They're probably one of my favorite features, by the way, forward slash game mode creative. Um, I absolutely love the balloons in this. I feel like every single video that I've done, I've definitely messed around with the balloon. I don't think we have any animals with us today. I, I, I honestly think I've sent them all away. Wait, wait, no. No, we have ourselves some sheep. I'm sorry, sheep. Goodbye, my friend. I think balloons are awesome. And yes, balloons do come in all different colors as well. I've also showed you guys how to make the underwater TNT, underwater torches, colorful torches, um, sparklers. These are really fun too. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but they're really, really fun to mess around with. Uh, we're not gonna mess around with them today. Again, we're keeping things a little bit simplified, but we've made ice bombs, bleach, heated block, and glow sticks. We did that in my last video. So. These, this is the recipe that you're gonna need in today's video. And I wanna start this from scratch because we're gonna have to make uh, aluminium oxide. And I know in America, you guys call aluminium aluminum. I've seen this on TV adverts. So I'm just gonna call it AL today, which is, I'm not even gonna say the word anymore. And we also need to make this as well, which is uh, boron trioxide. Bor boron, boron trioxide, I think that's what it is. Um, and to do this, you need these specific ingredients. Now I wanna make sure my Inventory is completely empty before we do any of this. I'm going to keep my balloon because that balloon stayed with me for a very, very long time. So in order to make this, we need this. We need two of these and we need three oxygen. Okay, so these are going to go into the compound creator, not the lab table, into the compound creator. So two inside of here, three inside of there. As you guys can see, it creates this. Again, I'm not saying the word. So I'm just going to grab a couple of these because in order to do this, you need three on the top. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to grab a couple of these. In fact, we'll just grab ourselves as many as we can. I think I think you can hold 64 of these. And if you wanted to mess around with more, I, of course, grab even more if you wanted to. I'm grabbing 64 so we can just make a couple of different colored blocks. We also need to create this, which is the boron trioxide. This is also with boron and it's also with oxygen as well. These are going inside of the compound creator, so two and three, and again, we're just gonna grab 64 of these. So just so you're familiar with the recipes, two of these, three oxygen, we'll create this, two boron, three oxygen, we'll create this. In the middle, it's all down to you in terms of what color you wanted to use. So for example, this is the orange, we're not gonna do orange again because we've already done it. We'll grab ourselves some blue, we'll grab ourselves some glass panes, black glass panes, whatever color you wanna do this with. Of course, now you go to the crafting table. There's only a couple of recipes that you do need to go to the crafting recipe and this is one of them. So three of these on the top, whatever color you want in the middle. So we're just gonna do, we'll do just this one for now. We'll go blue and then on the bottom, we go this. And as you guys can see, it creates three of these. Now these are really good blocks. They're pretty solid blocks. 
I would love to have seen these introduced to Minecraft. So if I just grab myself an ordinary glass pane real quick, we'll just grab a blue one of them, and I'll grab myself an orange one as well. I'll just show you guys the, the slight comparison compared to the, the, the normal blocks in Minecraft. So what I'll do is I'll break that and that. We'll just go blue and blue, and I'll grab one of these, break this, orange and orange, and orange there. Like, look how much better that is. It is, it's so much better. So, obviously, again, forward slash game mode survival. If I try and break any of the hardened blocks with my hand, as you can see there, it takes a very, very long time to do. If I was to break an ordinary glass block, it takes a couple of seconds. Probably a second. So, you can see the differences. They're a very, very strong block to use. Um, and again, it does work for the panes as well. I'm just going to put that back there because it looks really odd with it, without it there. So back to the crafting table. The recipe is always going to be the same. So we're going to put three of these on the top. We're going to put three of those on the bottom. Whatever one you want. We'll go black as I've already done um, the lighter colors. So as you guys can see, we have these as well. Th this looks really good. I'm a big fan of the black one. I think it looks really cool. I can imagine building with this kind of thing as well. So look at that, it's really impressive. And again, I'll just do a little bit of a comparison. We've already got the block here. We'll just grab ourselves the ordinary glass pane and you can see the difference already. So you can see how awesome it is. It's it's actually really, really cool. So maybe one day they'll introduce these into to Minecraft. I don't really know. I think a hardened glass block would be absolutely fantastic. So that's how to make that. If you guys got stuck at any part, I'll just run through it one more time. To create this, we need this and three oxygen. To create the boron trioxide, we need two boron and we need three oxygen. That will create them. And again, the specific crafting recipe is this. Through in the top, whatever block you want in the middle being stained glass and glass panes. And then on the bottom, the boron trioxide. All right, so I want to clean up my inventory a little bit and show you guys how to make a couple of potions. So out of all the science update, this is probably the easiest thing to learn because it's basically just creating ordinary potions. You just need the elements which is really easy. So inside of here, we've just got ordinary water bottles. For people who might be watching this, who may be teachers, who don't really play Minecraft, you need water bottles inside of here along with blaze powder. Now blaze powder is used to power up the furnace. Sorry, that's a lie, the brewing stand. So you can craft specific potions. So the first thing we need to do here, I'm just gonna grab two of these real quick. I'm gonna put one inside of here because they all start with awkward potions. And I've also got one over here, exactly the same, one side there. So let them brew, we'll have ourselves the awkward potions. And then I want to show you guys how to create a specific thing. So we're going to be creating tonic, and tonic basically cures nausea. We're going to be creating eye drops, which cures blindness. We're going to be creating the antidote, which cures poison. And we're also going to be creating elixir, which cures weakness. So we're just going to start with the antidote, and that cures poison. So you just need one of these. You just need one silver inside of here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out both of those. I'm going to put this inside of here. So what this is about to create is it's about to create the antidote. It's pretty cool. I'm also going to give myself the uh, poison effects or the negative effects and show you how this does happen. It's it's pretty fantastic. I love the fact that they've introduced these kinds of things to the game. It's just another way to cure yourself. We know as Minecraft players, the best way to cure yourself would be to be um, uh, cow's milk. Cow's milk obviously cures the problems. As you can see there, we have the poison effect. This is the antidote. So if I'm forward slash game mode survival, Again, we're going to hit ourselves with the poison effect. If I hit, um, I can't even remember which one it is now, but as you can see, I'm definitely dying there. If I drink the antidote, as you can see, the poison effect has gone, and I'm back to reality. This is also the same for uh, cobalt. We need one of these to create the elixir. This is going to cure, as you can see, this is going to cure the uh, weakness effect. So we'll do exactly the same with this one. These two are a little bit more complicated because there is no... There is no potions for these. I have to use uh, forward slash effect, and I'll show you exactly how that works. So I just want to cure myself. We'll keep that over there. I want to cure myself the weakness potion. It's not really too much of a bad uh, effect anyway. You probably only ever end up with this when you're trying to kill zombie villagers. So if we hit ourselves with the weakness potion, as you can see, I'm very, very weak at this moment. Maybe you're in a, a PvP fight and you need to activate this. You drink this bad boy, and you're back to reality, which I think is really cool. I just realized this is kind of like a... It feels like a potion thing on there. That looks really cool. And I know for people playing on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the textures of these look a little bit whack. Yeah, that's just the way it is. I don't really know why that's a thing. So the next ones that we have that we want to create is the eye drops, and we also want to create tonic. So I'm just going to grab myself calcium. 
I'm going to put this inside of here. So, Orca Potion plus Calcium. And we're going to give ourselves the blindness effect. So, to do this is forward slash effect at P, I think it is. Can't spell. At P. And we're going to do blindness. So, as you can see, we really can't see at all. There is no potion for this. So, the miracle in this one is going to be this potion right here, which is the eye drops. I think it's a perfect thing to call it. I think it's really, really awesome. And three, two, one, we're cured. So no, no more eye infections for any of us. And then the last one that we have here is going to be the tonic, which is by bismuth. I don't know how to say that. I think I may have got that right, which cures nausea. So we need the tonic. Uh, we're just going to put one inside of here. These are orca potions. That's going to create there. So I'm going to be really careful with this one because this can really mess with your eyes. So I don't want to do this just yet. I want to make sure we have the potion in our hand. In fact, we can do it now. Forward slash effect at P. Uh, nausea, your screen's going to begin to shake, so I'll be very careful of how long I do this for. This is going to create a couple of these. So the nausea literally shakes your screen. It's it's a horrible one. It's a very, very horrible effect. But if I drink this, we are cured. We're no longer shaking the screen. And that's kind of what I wanted to share with you today. They're just the things that I've missed and you guys wanted me to teach you how to do it. Um, let me know in the comment section what your favorite thing was to learn. And if you did learn something new, please be sure to hit that like button because I might bring you guys some explosions in the next video. Basically, when science has gone wrong and you're creating the wrong things within the um, lab table or the compound creator or even the element constructor. So have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.